hopefully you have someone recording you. But in case you don't, this is how you'll go about recording yourself and recording your own acoustic performance. I'm going to be recording an acoustic guitar today. Some people will call this particular acoustic guitar a classical guitar because the strings are of nylon. So today I'll be using the Neumann TLM-103 large condenser microphone and the AKG C480B small diaphragm condenser microphone. The reason that I'm doing this is that I'm trying to get two completely different sounds off of this to create my stereo field. So today I'll be recording in stereo. Always record in stereo. It may take more time to set up. It may sound beautiful on its own, but may not always work in the mix. But, and here's the big but, that makes it an advantage. Now, you have more options when it comes to the mix stage. You can now dedicate a part of the song to use your stereo acoustic guitar in a standalone mode. Two, you can mix both mics and use them in mono. Three, you can choose either the left mic or the right mic and use that alone in mono. But if you record it in mono, you would only probably have one take with that one mic. Take your guitar and you are going to look for where you are going to be placing your microphones. Now, a good starting point is right here in the 12th fret and then the bridge, but I really do not know how this guitar is going to sound with the mics. So I'm going to listen with my ears to find the peak position here that I want. I already know what I want here. So first thing I do is I take my acoustic guitar and I'm going to use my thumb and pull the string. So I'm going to be running my ear across the guitar body, sweeping my ear this way, back and forth to find the position that I like the most. And that's where I'm going to place my microphone. Oh, this is what it sounds like. I tend to like around this area. Never mic here. This position is going to be very boomy, muddy, and unclear. This is what that sounds like. I think I like around this position that I'm going to place my mic. I also like here, but I think I like here the most. So I'm going to set up my mics here and on the 12th fret. Be back soon. You are going to mix by microphone and not by plug-in. So what I mean is that before you even touch an EQ in your DAW, you listen to headphones, with your microphones in place, practice or run a take of the song, you're going to listen carefully to how the guitar sounds in the mix. And if it is too buried, then I suggest you move your microphone slightly apart or slightly closer together. Moving the microphone slightly will adjust the EQ of the microphones. And you will find the best position for your guitar, for the microphones in context to the song you're recording. A metronome helps me avoid phasing problems when I'm recording. Let me show you what a phase problem is. These two mics are out of phase. So if this is the first note, the waveform from each microphone, if I zoom in, so this is the waveform, this waveform and this waveform are out of phase. This waveform goes up, this waveform goes down. They should be more like this, goes up, also goes up. This would be in phase. So I did not realize that my microphone wasn't plugged in. Then I didn't realize that I took off the phantom power on these microphones. So here we go again. The other way that I showed you where you manipulate the waveforms to get them in line is like artificial and that's called time alignment. But what I showed you with the metronome is a way to do it so that you get the natural room response. It's just going to sound more acoustic than if you were to time align your mics to get rid of phase problems. The last thing you want to do is use your EQs to manipulate the sound of your guitar at this point. 
You're trying to get the most natural sound that you can get from the beginning, from the get-go, to get the best response while you're mixing. So this is what it sounds like. If you have any questions, don't forget tiedaikitty.com. Ask away. Come see me soon. Peace.